Who does that on Christmas Day? Seriously. Hey guys, it's Wednesday the 22nd of December and only a few more days now until Christmas. It's actually my 35th birthday today and we're going to be doing the first of three specific speed sessions over the festive period. The second one's on Christmas Day, the third is on Boxing Day, so we've got lots of festive fun to look forward to. But before we kick on with tonight's session, I want to give you a quick update on those knee niggles I mentioned last week. So it's improved a lot since Sunday, we've given it a lot of ice, some yoga, so I do think it's more IT band related uh, than maybe a swelling issue and while I can still feel some tightness in there I'm hoping we're over the worst. We'll talk more about tonight's session in a second and also a new product I want to reveal to you all but we need to get cracking and get to the football field because it's starting to piss it down. Right guys, tonight's session is a fartlet workout and it's progression from last week. So whereas before we were doing easy efforts between each rep, tonight we're going to be running at a moderate effort. It's going to be carry on on that kick but just pulling back a little bit, about half an hour's worth of playing with my speed. Really tough session but again, it's going to progress as the weeks go on. After the session, like I say, we're going to talk about a new product, um, it's a shoe and it's not really suitable for these soggy football fields. Uh, that's, that's why we're not wearing the shoe tonight, but I'm really excited about the brand because they've got some really interesting design innovations in there. It's actually the same company that makes this hydration vest, but we're gonna talk more on that after the session because we need to get our speed on. There we go guys, session done. I've just come out of an ice bath. That's something I traditionally always do after harder sessions, but especially with the issues we've been having with the knee, just to see if there's any swelling that needs controlling in there. What you saw me put on was the Compex machine. That's now on my cast. I've had it on my quads and my hamstrings. Just helps get circulation around the body. As for the session itself, really happy with it actually. Seven and a half minute mile in over the whole session. More importantly though, the specific splits of the reps, which are what are going to get us faster. On the 5K sections, we're between five and a half minute miling and five minute 50 second minute miling. And then going into those moderate efforts, straight off the back of the 5K efforts, we're between seven minute 15 second miles and seven and a half minute miling. So really happy with that. That's about right for my moderate effort pace, I would say. So to be able to hold those out of the back of a 5K effort, is great. What's really important though, is when we get to those longer moderate effort runs that I can hold the pace and it not take much out of me. That's what we're trying to get going into the three peaks. Right, I wanna really quickly introduce a new company to you guys, one I've never heard of before. They're called Kalas, it's spelled K-I-L-A-S. They sponsor Scotty Hawker, um, who you might know from New Zealand, I believe. UTMB third place in 2018 and 19, second place in the CCC just the other year, but I've never heard of them before. Um, they got in touch with me about a month ago and just said, look, would you mind testing a bit of our gear? Give us some feedback and your thoughts. I get these offers quite often, by the way, guys, and I don't always review um, companies that come knocking on the door. If I don't like the looks of the gear, I will not test it because I don't think it's fair on them and I don't think it's fair on wasting your time either. But some of the stuff that KLAS do is really innovative. The design and some of the features just aren't available from companies in Europe. They've also sent out a top 
which was really nice of them. This isn't specifically for testing, this was just an additional extra to say thank you. Uh, but quite high quality top, nice little zip at the front, long sleeved, very, very light, which is a big feature of everything that they do. Moving on to the shoes themselves, and this actually sums up one of the things I really like about Kalas. They send a booklet with every order, it's got some of the other products in, but it's generally just a guide telling you how to use the product and what its features are, which I thought was quite handy. You get a little shoe bag, it's a nice little touch as well. And as for the shoe itself, this is the Fuga Pro 3. It's a really lightweight shoe, probably I would say one of the lightest shoes I've um, ever brought in for testing. And when I was mentioning features, if you have a look at the lacing system there, you'll notice there's a little toggle here. Now I don't know of many companies in Europe who are using this, but what that does is you can actually cinch the front laces up tight and then control the tightness of the top half separately. There's a bunch of other features like the fact it's got little clips here to put your gaiters on that I really like. And we're gonna test those shoes out hopefully next week. I'm gonna get out in Dolby Forest and I'm gonna give you some first impressions on the shoe. So I don't wanna go into too much detail right now because we're gonna go into loads of detail when we come to that. Likewise, with the pack itself, there's loads of great features I'll show you, but one of the ones that jumped out at me, literally pull this toggle down and it tightens as much as you need to to stop the soft flask bouncing up and down. So thank you very much to KLAS for sending me all that stuff out. I promise you I will get you some thoughts out uh, later next week. But we need to move on to Christmas Day, guys, because the big guy with the beard's coming and I've ordered loads of running stuff from my family. <laughs> ordered, that's a terrible way of putting it, isn't it? Anyway, we'll see what I've got for Christmas and then we've got three by one and a half mile reps. Thank you very much for that, Coach Jason. I'll see you all on Christmas morning, guys. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's all so dear. Good morning, guys, and Merry Christmas. Although it may seem weird you guys hearing that, seeing as you'll be watching it nearer the new year. We've just finished opening up the gifts, lovely stuff from the family, and I've now got this hard session that Jason scheduled me. It's three by 10 minute tempo efforts with three minutes easy running between each. A progression from last week where we were doing mile efforts, these will be nearer, mile and a half, and I'd love to be able to hold that sub six and a half minute mile pace that we did last week. We've had a couple of easy days, so the legs have recovered from Wednesday's session. And today we're wearing the IROX from VJ. Uh, they've got really good grip and a precision fit, but I do have to be careful we don't go above that tempo effort because I've got tomorrow's session in the back of my mind. That's going to be a real tough one and those moderate efforts are going to be a waste of time if I spend myself completely today. The session's gonna be about an hour and five minutes, but I'm gonna take an energy gel because I had my breakfast quite early this morning. Also, we're doing a bit of a test with a number of gel manufacturers at the moment. I want to do a video for you guys at some point on running nutrition. This is from Unived and uh, I think it's chocolate. Yeah, Coco Choco they call it. So let's get this down me. Mmm, that is just like chocolate. That's amazing, wow. I must admit, when I pulled this one out of the pack, I thought it was going to be gross. I couldn't imagine a gooey gel tasting any good in chocolate flavour, but actually, really surprised. Right, enough procrastinating. First rep. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Having just looked at the playback, I think I was in time lapse mode for the whole of the first rep. So apologies if that's the case, but we were around 6.27 minute miles, I think. And it was hard work. <laughs> Second rep start, three, two, one, go. I 
that's the second rep done. <laughs> Similar to the first, I think. Just below six and a half minute miles. This last one is gonna hurt. <sighs> Final lap, guys. It's starting in the mud. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Oh, go. <laughs> Just that on Christmas Day. Seriously. There you have it, guys. Three by 10 minute reps completed. The last one was near a six and a half minute miles. So a bit disappointed to drop off the pace there, but it was a progression from last week. So I guess to expect holding the same pace over a long distance was maybe a bit unrealistic after just one week of extra training. Right, gonna get back. Look at me, presents I opened this morning. Uh, get my recovery routine on, fueled up, and I'll see you all tomorrow for a moderate run. I just hope my legs recover in time. Morning guys, it's Boxing Day, Sunday, and it's long run day. We've got an hour and a half run to do. Gonna start out at easy for the first 20 minutes. We're then going into a moderate effort, which is to try and mimic what we're gonna have in the Three Peaks race. From that section between Penny Gen all the way to Wernside, where it's flat and downhill, very much runnable. What we need to do is get my body efficient enough to not take much out of the tank for that part of the race. Legs are feeling okay after yesterday's tempo session, but it'll be interesting to see how they respond today. I often find the day after a hard effort, I feel fit as hell, but we won't know how much they've actually recovered until towards the end of this moderate effort today. Doing these sessions in the past, I was around seven and a half, seven twenty-four minute miling. I'd like to be around there or even below today. The nearer we can get to that seven minute mile mark on these moderate efforts, the better going into three peaks. But it's all off heart rate. I'll be looking to do between 150 and 155 beats per minute. Anything either side is not going to work. It is a longer run today. So we've brought a spring energy Canterbury energy gel with us. Love the brand, all natural ingredients. And it's got a nice mix of carbohydrates fat and protein, which I think is pretty important for those longer runs. I'll also be leaving links, by the way, guys, in the description of all my videos now for any gels that I use going forward. I do get a bit of a kickback from these links, so you will be helping support the channel, but I'll only ever share gels that I genuinely use and I genuinely believe in. You'll also notice I'm wearing one of my Christmas presents. I got the Apple AirPods on. No more wires. <laughs> right, I need to focus. We've already made one wrong turn and the moderate effort is about to begin. So I'll see you at the end of the session and we'll see how I got on. It goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up
There we go, guys. That's the week complete with a 12 mile run, averaging just below seven and a half minute miles. But more importantly, on the moderate efforts, we got down below 720. It was 716 minute miles. So I'm happy with that. We sustained a 155 beats per minute heart rate. And uh, coming off the back of yesterday's tough session, Wednesday was a really tough session as well. I'm happy with the way my body is responding to training. Next week is another notch above again. And we've also got a park run. So a bit of a tester there just to see how this speed work is actually affecting us. That's a wrap for the video, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed your new year because that's when this is going to be coming out here. And next week, we've got first impressions on that K-Last gear and also a park run. Let's see if we can't go get ourselves closer to that 18 minute PB. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.